Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve a one-step equation. So we know that an equation is just a mathematical way of saying that two expressions are equal to one another, and also that when we're solving an equation, our goal is to isolate the variable. That means we want to get rid of everything else that is surrounding the variable so that we can find out what the value of the variable is. And of course, a variable is just an unknown value that is represented by a lowercase letter. So let's go ahead and do a few examples. So let's say that we have x minus 4 is equal to 13. So in our previous video, we learned about inverse operations and how we can use inverse operations in order to solve an equation. So inverse operations is just that we know that we have four operations in math, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So addition and subtraction go together and multiplication and division go together. So for example, if, if you know an equation there's addition, then in order to get rid of addition, you're going to do subtraction. So in the same way, if you have subtraction, then you're going to do addition and so forth. So in this equation, we can see that x is being subtracted with 4. So we have x minus 4. So we want to get rid of the minus 4 because we want to isolate the x. So in order to get rid of minus 4, we're going to have to do the inverse operation. And we know that the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So in order to get rid of minus 4, we're going to do plus 4. Now keep this thing in mind. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side because you want to keep a balance between the equations. So if you're going to do plus 4 to this side, then you're going to have to do a plus 4 to this side as well. And also if you're confused between what side is, then this, equa this equal mark is kind of like the border. So x minus 4 is one side and then 13 is the other. Okay. So if I'm adding plus 4 to x minus 4, then I'm going to have to add 4 to 13 as well. So I know that if the signs are opposite and the number is the same, that means they cancel each other out. So minus 4 and plus 4 cancel each other out. And I am left with x is equal to 13 plus 4, which is equal to 17. And I can always check my answer by substituting my value into my um, variable, into my original equation, and seeing if it, the answer is correct. And I know that x is equal to 17. So if I do 17 minus 4, I get 13. Therefore, my answer is correct. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do another example. So now let's say we have 2 is equal to x minus 4. So this time it's kind of a little different. So because in our first example, we had the variable on one side, the first and the um, to the left, and then our answer to the right. This time we have the answer to the equation on the left side and then the variable and the operation on the right. So it's the same thing. So we know that we have subtraction in this problem again. Actually, let's go ahead and make this into addition because we want to do a little different problem, right? Okay, so this time we have addition. So we know that the uh, reverse of inverse operation for addition is subtraction. So we know that plus 4, we're going to have to do minus 4. So if I do minus 4 on this side and minus 4 on this side, I know that minus 4 and plus 4 cancel each other out. So I am left with x is equal to, and then 2 and minus 4. In this case, I have minus 4, so I'm going to take the sign of the bigger number. So I know that 4 is greater than 2, so I'm going to take negative sign. And now I'm going to subtract 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. Therefore, I get negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. And if I want to check my answer, I can go ahead and always substitute it. So I know that minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 2. And therefore, my answer is correct. OK, let's do our last example. So let's say that we have x. Oops. OK, x. Um, let's say this time we have 6x is equal to 36. This time we have multiplication. So we know that the inverse of multiplication is division. So we have to divide on um, both sides by 6. So if we divide both, by both sides by 6, we know that the 6 cancel each other out. So we are left with x is equal to 36 divided by 6, which is 6. And our answer is 6. And if we want to check our answer, we know that 6 times 6 is 36. Therefore, our answer is correct. 
And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!